Okay, here's the original program that came with the unit. Let's see what happens. Put your hand in front of it. Okay, here's uh, the tutorial program that we just made. So it has the same functionality as the original. Pretty cool. We'll try to trap it. Hey, little guy, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Confused? Are you confused yet? Okay. Okay, so we took our mini tank program and we went from its original source code uh, that came with it, came with the unit. Uh, this code here that's uh, almost completely unreadable. 10 LB, RF, LF, this is, and there, it's so unreadable. It's like F speed is less than 25. Actually, this is the distance ahead. Why are they calling this speed? I, I have no idea. Of course, these are the commands, you know, to, to jump backwards if it's less than 10 centimeters and, and to make a decision of whether to go left or right. It's so unreadable. And then, of course, ask pin F. I guess they're making a determination whether or not to... Uh, see what the distance is forward or pin left or, you know looking left looking right here's the main program loop servo right direction equals two direction equals six it they don't even it's not even describing what direction equals six is i mean i can look here and get the same information as i have over here so even the comments there's a few that are kind of eh, but i can't even just, uh, programmeries from Beyond, ugh, 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 cack. Yeah. Okay. So we went from this. You know, we took this and we wanted to duplicate the functionality, but we wanted to do it uh, in an object-oriented style, without you know, in, in the style of programming that I talk about, or I started talking about, or you know, discussed, or just showed in this whole tutorial. You know, from the beginning, from through the end. Now we're going to compare that to what we have now. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go through this thing line by line again. We already went over this thing when we did the tutorial, but, you know, here's the difference. You know, include mini tank, uh, make one from a blueprint, run the begin routine to get it cranked up and running. Go forward, and if it's not going forward after we told it to, then, hey, select a new direction because, we, you know, we must have seen something that makes it what we can't. And of course, you know, it doesn't tell us much, but... Um, we can right click here and we can go into this declaration and go oh how do we select a new direction you know measure the left and right distance if one is turn left or turn right or jump back and you know delay a tiny bit and stop or rotate left a tiny bit and stop you know if we need to see what this thing is doing let's say okay how do we get the collection you know the collision distance open declaration Ensure you know we're within bounds of the angle we're choosing. You know, s s uh, determine the motor angle from the angle, set angle, wait till it's arrived, get the collision distance from the sonic sensor. How do we get to look at this collision from the sonic sensor? You know, uh, couple of variables, feedback, last measured feedback. Okay, ensure trigger pin is settled. Send a ping. Wait for a or measure a pong delay. Uh, do it again a couple times and then give us our feedback this we can follow it's like it's, it's like the beginning at the be very beginning of this video series i said what about programming something as complicated as the usa and you ask somebody where they're from well i'm from the usa I, i'm from i'm from the state of alabama i live in birmingham i live on smith street i drive a blue suv i you know my zip code is this we have you know three things in our front yard that look like this and we have a flower bed if you want to, you go from, you know, generalized 
down specifically to where you need to go if you want to understand how something works you can very quickly get down to the atomic level if you need to but in most cases you don't need to because you can see what is going on you can see that this thing what its decisions it's making you can see what it's doing it's in English it doesn't have to, you don't have to comment the holy crap out of it to find out what it's doing here's the difference okay now the second question or the thing that comes up to me and concerns me or makes me wonder is you know this program here is is kind of small you know it, it's it fits on one page it you know it's very small it fits on one page the whole program fits on one page okay you see this right here okay and this uh, this this style is in multiple files you know every object has its header and, and CPP every 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 part of each one of these devices has its own header and how to do each one of these subcomponents and of course the main component does too so it's split up over many smaller things so that if I need to know how a sonic sensor works I can focus on that if I need to know how the eyes work I can say oh it's using these two devices in tandem and here's how it's using them so how does the programming code stack up as a final result now that is the question so what I can do is I can go right here and I can go to Minitank 001 project which is the actual uh, let me close our tutorial project let me just close this project here is the actual code that was sent okay and um, if I hit compile let me let me all right, here we go if I hit compile and I compile this. Let me clean the code just to be safe. You know, in other words, I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe out everything that's done. You know, all the compiling is done previous. And I'm just gonna recompile it from scratch, okay? And then I'm gonna close this project. And, and let's compare these two. And then I'm gonna go to the tutorial that I just wrote, which is which is all of what we just did. I'm gonna open that up, and I'm gonna say, okay, now clean this code which means wipe out everything you've done and all compile pre-compiling and everything and I want to recompile it from total scratch again uh, total scratch uh, oops this is a uh, the wrong one close project tutorial that was a uh, I played around with the mini tank somebody else or with somebody else and I was showing him sort of some some of the stuff I want to make a tutorial out of okay so I clean the project uh, open this and then I, I compile it from s total scratch again the same way okay now here's what I want to know is tutorial number one is the original um, delete this is the original code the original what came with the device okay oops I accidentally opened the Arduino software on it um, here it is here uh, obviously and then of course when it compiles it saves the hex file in um, the release folder now if I open my my terminal because I, I run Linux I don't run Windows I, I got you know an actual operating system where you can do stuff rather than just you know uh, anyway that's another subject <laughs> all right and I'm gonna I'm gonna do an AVR object dump uh, to star dot hex, which is the hex file that it generated that gets dumped into the Arduino, I'm going to say, "Hey, uh, save that as assembly uh, language for the original." Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to basically, I'm going to turn it into assembly language. I'm going to look at the machine code, the raw machine code uh, with a disassembler. Okay, so that I can see the raw machine code. What did that program look like? okay and now I'm gonna go uh, uh, up one layer a couple layers and I'm going to find the uh, tutorial we just did which is going to be uh, right here and I'm gonna go to release and um, I'm going to uh, do this again I did it once uh, here tutorials go back to my uh, terminal and I'll say hey disassemble the start hex file the hex file that's in this folder as tutorial 
okay so we get a, the actual raw machine code assembly language code that's going to be sent to the Arduino we'll close that now let's open these two let's let's find out what's going on here okay let's uh, uh, let's see what they look like let's compare them so uh, here's the tutorial and uh, let's go back here to the um, to the original which is the 01 file and let's look at the uh, assembly language original uh, assembly now let's look at our editor now we have both the assembled code that's going to go to the Arduino. It's, this is the code that's actually going to run on the microprocessor, the raw assembly language, uh, what it gets translated to. From what we wrote, this is the one we wrote, and this is the original that's very poorly programmed. Uh, that's this original here. But the original fits on one page. It, it's all together in one little page. So the question is is all those hours and hours of tutorial that I just did and building this thing in this design creating all of these functionality creating all these sub objects and the mini tank them you know in an object oriented fashion and in, in a fashion that will never limit us into how complex we can get this thing versus this thing which would be a nightmare to try to include any more functionality or change anything or get it to do something different it'd be a mess What's the difference between two? Is this program that fits on a single page bigger or smaller than our extra efforts to do it right? And I'm going to show you this difference. And, 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 you know, take your vote because you're getting ready to be surprised here. The original assembly code, if you scroll down through here and you go all the way to the bottom, this is that, that one page code that came with the device you go all the way down here and you look see how many lines of code this thing is it's 2133 lines of a machine code okay that's how big the program is that that you know that's that one page that's this nightmare monstrosity but it's only one page now remember the functionality of this is exactly the same okay the functionality is the same here's our tutorial and all of our efforts okay is it going to be bigger? Is it going to be a lot bigger? Is it going to be? It is smaller. It is significantly smaller. It's, it's uh, you know, 2133 lines of code, 2133 minus what we did. Our program is 1697. There is 436 less instructions in our version by doing it the right way that's faster it's gonna run faster it's gonna run more efficiently and it's so much easier to edit optimize change to do whatever you want in the future with this thing all you have to do is just add functionality to whatever module you want whatever layer you want you want this thing to have emotions and to, and to perform emotes Make you an enum class, enumeration class with the emotes you want. Add another, add, add a function here. It says emotion, emotes, you know, emote, what emote? And then add into the CPP file how to do those emotes with the switch statements. Emote left, or emote happy, emote sad. Stop, turn around, do left, right. Stop, turn around, do circles. It's just so easy to add functionality to this thing and to change and alter it. That's the way you program. You program like a human. You don't program like uh, a, a computeries, and you don't program in computeries because when you program like this, it is less efficient. It it, it it's it's more demanding on the Arduino, and, and it's just it's just sorry, it's just wrong. That's the difference. That's the final result, and that's why. Uh, I say programs are like that are bad. A, you can never, you can never add or, 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 or do any functional changes to this without pulling your hair out. And B, it's less efficient. It, it's, it's, it's larger code. It, it, there's a lot more for it to have to do to do this to, to accomplish the same task at the end of the day. That's crazy. You would think that all that stuff that we wrote, all of this stuff, by, by assigning it and doing it correctly would make more code and the reason why it doesn't is because the C++ language it when you separate the header when you separate the idea 
from here's how you do those ideas. You know, when you separate, here's the idea of what I want, and here's how you do it. When this thing compiles, what it's going to do is it's going to take all the ideas what you want, all the things you're saying I want to do, and it only applies those tiny little pieces of how to do them in a, the appropriate places, and it's done. It's much more efficient. That's my rant towards the original program versus what we did. And if this doesn't show somebody that there are better methods to, to program these Arduinos, there are better methods to program these hardware logic things, then, then you know, I feel sorry for them because this is a standardized way you can do just about anything. And you can take this with you from now until the last Arduino you ever program. You can take these same methods and you can apply them in very consistent ways and and basically you know eventually be able to program about anything you ever want to with these little arduinos and all this stuff and eventually in c plus plus with your computer and all this other stuff same thing you can use these same methods to make programs in your computer uh or other things you know that's how i program that's how I, you know i've always done it i've never been professionally trained like i said but i have spent years having to write professional grade and industrial grade programming for automation, uh, automated machinery, uh, things that have automation built into them, uh, things that are controlled with, with programmable logic controllers, microcontrollers, you know, that interface between the, the hardware and the computer and the real world and the person and the, pe and the things that have to interact with it. That's what I've always done. I'm retired from that field. I did that for many years. So this is sort of, you know, my advice to someone else with the experience I have. Whether it's right or wrong, you know, you take that with a grain of salt. You know, you take that with, you know, however you want to see it. But that's how I see it. That's how my years of experience look at it with my eyes. So, uh, you know, my phone is uh, bling blinging me, so I think I will call it good. Initial program. Uh, it's, it's real close to the initial programming. The original programming never well, works that well, fast. Well, actually, um, the original programming doesn't double check the sonic sensor. That's the difference. Mm. That's the difference. It's, the sonic sensor is operating more accurately. Quite a bit more accurately than the original. But, uh, yeah, I'd call that good. Cut.